Here we I go. I think uh, I think I watched possibly the worst movie in the history of movies last night. What was it? Eurovision. The mm-hmm. story of Fire Saga. What? Anybody heard of it? No. I've heard of it. Yeah. Horrible. Eurovision. Horrible. Don't watch it. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams. I'll watch it for her. For her is why yeah. I hung in there. I hung in there. I know. I hung in there. There's but that. Let me tell you this: the accents went in and out. The accents went in and out like you wouldn't believe. Like it, it, Rachel McAdams went from being kind of a Canadian Icelander to complete like Midwestern Iowa. Really? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, it, it it was horrible. Oh my gosh! And I can't believe I sat through the whole thing. I that's what part, I will, part I will of that's do on it. me. Don't do it. I mean, part of that's on me. You know, we, the kids are at the grandparents, and so I was like, oh yeah, I'll sit down instead of playing Call of Duty with Jace, uh, our editor, our cameraman, genius. Hey, come on in. <laughs> We're not doing anything. <laughs> What's up, hey, man? how's it going? Hey, oh, what you're do we live. get? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're live. Hey, what yeah. do we get? We got a delivery. <laughs> is it ammo? Oh, it's me. It's for me. <laughs> Look, this is live. I'm the kid, huh? Yep, right. that's me. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> hey, <All right. laughs> that just happened. I... <laughs> Someone didn't lock the door. First, we came. <laughs> he knocked, right? He did not. I mean, to be fair, what a nice guy. Oh though. my god. I mean, he, dude, brought me a package. All right. Let's play. Guess what's in the package? You need a knife again? Yes, We're doing I need the same a, thing. Wait, hold a second. Now, what I if it's one. like a? What if it's? Oh, it's no, but batteries? it's not. It's no. It's a. Uh, it's a deal from uh, our friends at Loophole. Loophole. All right, we'll see what Loophole sent. <laughs> this is, this live know, gets better. This and better. is getting desperate, Loophole. You yeah. want to be on this show so bad <laughs> that you overnight stuff to arrive right at two p.m. Central. Boy, that is actually so you can brilliant. get on the show. All right, can All we right. guess what we got Fine. in the box? Fine, we'll have you on the show. All right. What's in the box? I think we should start having What's in the our, box? our UPS delivery guy on the show. I like it. It's almost kind of like that Mr. Rogers vibe. Like, hey, That's come on in. Come, yeah, that. come on in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's Tony, see. you're in Medford. You can drive up to Leupold and Beaverton. And oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Is. All right, here's what we got in the box. What's in the box? All right. Jeez. This is, we are off the rails. Uh-oh, we got a Delta Point Pro. We love that. We also have, I think this is an RDS. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe not. No, this is some new, some of their new uh, ANSI rated sunglasses. Ah. So, if you want to make a trade, maybe we can make a trade. Yeah, I just got, I got. He some. got the gray ones. I kind of like the gray ones, and I already have some tortoise. So let's 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 okay. take a look after. All right. All right, I think we are live. I think we're gonna go ahead and actually officially start uh. this thing now that the UPS guy has come. Um, here we go. Today's Gun Talk Live is brought to you by Colt. Still making history and Springfield Armory. Also, Sig Sauer. Sig Sauer and Hogue have been working together for years as Sig, as Hogue pistol grips come standard on many Sig pistols. Uh, Sig and Hogue have now partnered together to develop a line of knives made in the USA and designed to complement the look, feel, and function of Sig Sauer pistols and are now available in 30 models. Um, so check out Sig Sauer, new Hogue knives, Sig knives, that's kind of a cool deal. Yep. Also, the Red Dot Revolution, it's like kind of a thing. We've got Ooh. Red Dots here, Red Dots just delivered. Sig Sauer's making Red Dots as well. Also, Ruger. Um, Ruger's Light Rack LCP2 in 22 lr is a low recoil pistol with an easy and manipulate slide that shoots comfortably regardless of hand size or strength. The Light Rack system combines refined slide serrations, pronounced cocking ears, I'll have to explain that later to you. <laughs> yes, a, it really is a thing. And a lighter recoil spring to ease the, the burden of cycling a pistol by hand. Find out more at Ruger.com. Hey, LCP in 22, you can use oh, it for practice. Absolutely. Practice and all just kinds of stuff. For kids, for getting new shooters involved, it, uh, it runs the gamut. Um, speaking of Colt, Colt still making history. Yes, Holy what? crap, that's big news. Colt is. Back in the AR game, not that they ever left, but um, back in September, Colt announced that, hey, we've got all these contracts we need to fulfill, and we think we have, the, they didn't tell you this then, we have this gun we think is going to be huge, yeah. the Colt Python. 
and they stopped um, sending out AR-15s for consumer purchases. They need to fulfill the military contracts. Well, now they're caught up on that, and yes, gun sales are brisk, so yeah. you can buy a Colt AR again. Again, they're back in business. So you got that They've never left, you. but so last week, we had uh, on the table, on the docket, we had DVDs and a Crimson Trace laser. So Richard won the DVD set. I've reached out to him on Facebook. Thank you for getting involved and leaving a comment. And that's how easy it is, folks. All you got to do is leave that comment, and you are automatically entered to win this week's prize. Um, and finally, the man, the myth, the comment... Lever extraordinaire, Luke Capria, you won that Crimson Ta -ta! Trace CTS-1300. All you got to do, reach out to me, kj at guntalk.com, and I will send you this optic soon. So you won the CTS-1300. All those Which comments. is a great, great optic. And it, he, he said his, his 1022 takedown needs that. And it's going to get that. So anyway, congratulations, Luke. Um, this What's up for grabs today? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, this week, um, you know what? This week, we've been making a little bit of a push uh, with uh, a little help from the folks at Manscaped. Um, Manscaped.com. Manscaped.com. They produce a lot of different stuff uh, They've to got, keep you well-groomed. Yes. Razors, shampoo, foot powder, all kinds of stuff. And... Uh, they actually worked out a deal, so if you're a fan of Gun Talk and you want to help us out and you want to smell good and look good, um, go to manscaped.com, enter Gun Talk at checkout, you'll get 20% off. And, and free shipping. And free shipping. Big time. Uh, and it's not all about, you know, they, they recently launched a lawnmower 3.0, which is, they, they tout it as a... It's a hair trimmer. A hair trimmer. Let's just leave it at that, but... It does all. Look at their marketing. Yeah. Go to their website. Yeah. You'll get the idea. Um, but anyway, uh, so what we've got on the docket today, we've got two prizes. So two of you guys that leave comments. Um, and you only have a week to do this. So you may see this video come out after next week. I think, what is it? Uh, what is next week? Uh, the 17th. So it's going to basically end on the 17th. Um, 16th. 16th. Thank you. That's right. Yeah. You're right. Uh, Michael's keeping me honest. Uh, but we've got some uh, some different, uh, we've got a hair and body wash and a foot deodorant, who couldn't use that, which will go along with an Olight special uh, multi-tool and the purple Olight S2R Baton 2, which is actually a really cool rechargeable flashlight. Really cool. It's kind of a limited edition. So you get something for you and who knows, it's a special lady in your life could have a purple flashlight. It's an LSU purple. So go Tigers. So he wants it. Uh, he, I would carry that light. It's a nice light. Mm -hmm. And also we have the Odin. So this is a weapons mounted light. Comes with a pressure plate, um, which is actually magnetized. So you can put it on your AR as well. And you will get a uh, headlamp head strap and Manscaped t-shirt to show all your friends. Um, so anyway, all you got to do, leave a comment and that's it. If you leave 20 comments, you have 20 entries. So... It's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. Um, Speaking of deals. Uh, there you go. See how we're hey, just teeing them up? In the, in the description of this video, we have links to deals. A lot of people are trying to buy guns, ammo, scopes, accessories, all that stuff. Um, you can't go to a concert or a sporting event right now, so you might as well go out and shoot guns. And so we've got deals uh, listed there from, is this correct? Guns.com, yep. Dury's, uh, Palmetto. Well... That's, you're on the wrong one. He See, pulled, that's why he, I asked, he, pulled up the wrong one. he likes to send like multiple, multiple. versions of what we're going to well, do because and then we, we get to guess. Because we did change it at the last minute because there's some timely news that's coming out and uh, kind of a what you should do. But iron sights, we're going to be talking about that in the third segment, kind of about, you know, are iron sights really useful? But let's talk or about yeah. what we're going to talk about right now. I agree. Which is, let's talk about waving guns around. Waving guns around. All right, there's been um, some people <laughs> waving guns around at other it, people. And it, so we're going to discuss this now. And some of you guys have seen uh, the couple in Missouri. Uh, that's where we're going to start out. And there's a whole laundry list of issues with this video. And then there's one that came out yesterday down here in our neck of the woods um, of kind of a similar situation, except not as extreme. 
extreme, mm -hmm. but still something that we need to show. So the couple in Missouri goes out, and they start waving guns. And then you've got this lady who My is Lord basically protect, trying to protect her house from flooding. So the setup to this video is there was heavy rain, flooding. It was entering her house. And neighbors were outside asking the people passing by, hey, please slow down because, you know, a vehicle drives through. It brings water into the house. They were doing that, I believe. Um, but she decides, you know, I've had enough. I don't want my house to flood, so she brings a gun outside. All right, I know. Never a good thing. I pray that our audience knows this, but please don't wave guns around. Please don't point guns at people. Um, that's just generally, there's not very many t cases where you're allowed to do that. Right. Um, so the folks in St. Louis, there's been probably, it's oh. been talked about ad nauseum, but um, just to give you an idea, okay, yeah, we don't want the, uh, the people broke through the gate or whatever it is. But just tactically speaking, going out on your front yard in front of hundreds of people and pointing guns at them is just a really bad idea tactically. Also, it, here's a thought for you. What if someone is in this parade, this marching, riot, whatever the heck it was, protesting, and they're concealed carrier uh, folks, they're carrying a gun, walking on the street, all of a sudden, they look over and they see a guy pointing an AR-15 at them. What do, you, what do you think could happen? Maybe they go, oh crap, they draw their gun and go bam, 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 bam. Guy pointed a gun at me. I thought he was about to shoot me. There's, a, yes, I, I completely agree with you. But as a concealed carrier, um, typically some, some of your state laws will not allow you to carry a gun in that situation. Uh, yeah, in a protest, and in stuff a protest, like that. Uh, yeah, any type of protest situation, parades, uh, that type of thing. But one, don't go to that area. But two, something in that video, tactfully, like tactically, their house was a fortress. Did you see the size <laughs> of that house? It's a pretty nice house. Did yeah. you see this? They have a second story. I would just, you know what? I'm gonna watch from afar. Don't come out of your house. Because that gives them access to you. Because yeah. he is, and this guy was a lawyer. I think they both were lawyers. I I'm think. not. I'm not. I think. But I, I know was gonna say, is. What is he thinking? No one knows. I, I know. I know he was. But tactically, that you're 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 out in the open, and and you're actively confronting them, and while waving your hand around, that shows a couple things. One, I believe it's ignorant. Two, you have no training. No, no training. There is no training there. There is no he... trainer out in this world, at least I hope not, that would say, yes, it's a great idea to come away from your Get out from cover, walk out out from there. Your cover and come out and tell, yell at people. Yelling at people does you no good. I understand they were, they were trespassing. They broke through the perimeter gate. But it's just, it's just incredibly dumb. Incredibly dumb. I think they, I heard that they might get charged. I don't know what the latest... Oh, they're getting charged. That. They're getting, I mean, um, but. So we've got some comments coming in. Um, Rick says he has a nice AR, though. Um, then there's a few, don't show me your manscaping. Um, <laughs> Paul says, if they wave a gun in my direction, I'll shoot them. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, being right and being alive are two different things, okay? Being right and being in jail are two different things sometimes. So you just have to think this stuff through, uh, not be dumb about it. Rick says, sit on the second story balcony. This is, you know, KJ says, go up to the second Monitor. story. Monitor, your best friend is your security system, your phone at that time, just monitor. You don't have to engage with these people. Sure. Hopefully, they, hopefully they don't come to you. Call the cops. Remember, how often do we say the first one that calls the cops is the victim? Yeah. Correct. Typically, I mean, even and, if, and you know, in that case, you know, things are weird. I know the cop, some of it was like, well, they might say, no, nope, this is we're an not approved uh, protest or whatever. Well, we're not, but they broke there. in. But you can say, hey, I'm in fear. You have, I mean, there's a track record. It's not, honey, go grab the guns. We got to go to the yeah. front lawn. Let's run out there. Let's go get them. And I, I would, I, I just, it, it baffles me. And then the let's go. Ron, with the, Ron also, Ron. Uh, says, buy a good sling so you don't have to be handling the rifle all the time. It's a great point. Yeah. Um, she didn't have a holster. He didn't have a sling. 
Um, they couldn't, it was kind of, they almost didn't have yeah. an option but to have the guns in their hand. Think about, right. you know, who he knows? He had a sling. He had a sling. Did he have but, a sling? But he chose to, I mean, you know, and he, they're moving around, so they're, that muzzle is sweeping people, you know. Um, anyway. Rules of gun safety. It let's, just, let's not wave so, guns at people, y'all. Okay. It's, it, the, the videos are so disgusting, and whether he chooses to engage, you know, just try not to. I, I think, guess that's so, I, I understand it's your property, and, and, and we're, we, are, we are not in that situation. We're Monday morning quarterbacking this. Looking from afar, and but there are lessons to be learned. That hopefully, if something like if front door violence comes home, you can make those decisions based well, on. Here's experience the deal. So, so learning. we we work with all kinds of different trainers and actual tactical people, which we are not. Um, but just as an example, some guys that that we both know would would do anti piracy stuff in the Gulf of Aden mm -hmm. off the coast of Somalia. So there's all these, you've heard about the pirates of Somalia and boarding ships and they made the movie and with, uh, with Tom Hanks and all that. So those guys are actual tactical folks, right? Yeah. And they have, you know, the plan A, the plan B, the plan C to falling back if they were overrun on the ship. And that's because they've thought this through ahead of time. Yeah. One of the best things you can do, some of the best training you can do is sitting in your living room with a beer or a little uh, a little glass of bourbon and think about what ifs. Yeah. What if, okay, let's say, what if they're walking down my street, uh, what am I gonna do? Hopefully your idea is not, I'm gonna run out there with a gun. Um, what if, okay, step two. What if they come, they're, they're banging on my door, what are we gonna do? Let's try to be smart about this. What, what, if, what if I hear them breaking into my house, what am I gonna do? It's like, Step, step by two, step, yeah. step three of where we got to get with this. We have, uh, David says, okay, I will only draw my weapon to engage a threat. It will stay holstered and concealed until that time. Yeah. Yeah. They could have been on their lawn. Don't engage. But I, I still don't even think that's a good idea. Like, there's... Rafe says... The uh, only win is stay inside your fortress. You know that home better than they do. Yeah. And given the size of that home, I guarantee you it had a safe room in it. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> I mean, that thing's massive. Rafe says, uh, WWTD, what would Tom do? Yeah, That's exactly I what we're saying. I guarantee you what Tom would do. Tom would have been in Idaho. He'd have been like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be there. Yeah. Like, like um, oh, New Orleans has playing. the COVID, huh? I'm going to Idaho. I'm out of here like, later. Like, <laughs> um, so, yeah. Front door just, violence, waving guns around. Let's try to think through this stuff, guys. Yeah. And also, Again, training. Get some training, please. Yeah, yeah and um, it, man, if man, I man, I you recreate it, maybe we should do an FPD about that. I I, I don't know. Speaking of FPD, hey, we're gonna be filming within the next few months. Okay, if you guys want to get involved and want to come down and film with us, please reach out to me, KJ at GunTalk.com. I'll have you fill out a brief application. And it'll be thrown in with all the others, and we'll make our decisions based on who's available and uh, how bad you really it's, want to train. So first-person defender, you've probably seen the show. If you're watching on YouTube, you've probably seen the show. But it's a we, we throw folks into these simunitions-type um, scenarios, these yeah. simulator force-on-force scenarios. It's pretty fun. Yep. You learn a little bit. You have some fun with it. Yep. Um, we're filming the majority of them here in Louisiana. So, Absolutely. yeah, if you're interested... Email him. Yeah, email me. And also, Info at Gun Talk. Also, we're always looking for uh, the next crop of content generators. So if you fancy yourself as a, a wordsmith, uh, reach out to me because we've got a little, some projects that could use a few more uh, scribes. Mm -hmm. So if you want to write for the Gun Talk and possibly get paid, see the newest, coolest gear, go test some guns, new guns. Feel free to reach out to me, kj at guntalk.com, and we'll work that out. So, do you need iron sights on guns? Oh. Uh oh. Okay. You're, you're not, you do not have the opportunity to throw that grenade in and walk out. <laughs> you actually need to, we need to think this through. So, iron sights on defensive pistols. Um, I think, I, I've started to shoot a red dot more and more and more, and I can't imagine going back. 
So is it necessary? I I think they are because right the the secondary your secondary really are your iron sights. And so what happens if the red dot goes down? Right, you use iron sights and certain guns. Um, yes, we're seeing more red dots on on pistols. Um, they work really well. The red dots are way more dependable than they used to be. The battery life is way longer than they used to be. So you're moving to where people are, even the guys who are real critical of stuff, mm -hmm. are comfortable to say, yeah, I'd, I'd carry uh, right. a gun with a red dot on it. But you gotta have iron sights on it, in my opinion. Yeah. You still have to have iron sights on it. There are certain guns, and I think some of it is uh, pistols that are being kind of retrofitted for having a red dot, where they lose the, the rear sight. Yep. I'm not a big fan of that. It happens, um, yeah. but for a, for a defensive gun, I'd rather ha still have the iron sights as an option. And it really is very easy, even if the red dot is not turned on, goes down, whatever, to just use your iron sights and just transition to do that. Um, without a rear sight, you are guessing. Yes. And you're gonna guess wrong. Absolutely. Oh, all the time you're gonna guess wrong. I don't care how trained up you are. Um, some guys are gonna be better than the others. Uh, David or uh, Ray D says, so what did you think about the Chipotle parking lot situation? And the first thing I thought was, did someone make it out? They didn't. And there wasn't a restroom out there? <laughs> Chipotle <laughs> but it was, parking lot. Like, there was a, there's, there's a situation in the Chipotle parking lot. Some guy, fella, didn't make it to his car. Um, no, that was where the, uh, um, she uh, the pregnant lady ended up drawing a gun down. And it's same thing. I just don't know if, I just don't think you should engage. Just get out of the situation. Uh, but public there, parking lot like that, that's a pretty common thing. That's not someone breaking down and, you know, breaking in. There's road rage. There's, there's all these little situations where you have, you have one of two choices. You can choose to engage and to verbally confront that person or like, I'm going to stand my ground. No one talks to me like that. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I don't know those people. I don't know. So, how, I don't know. They're crazy. Yeah. And I think, I think people are waving guns around thinking that in their mind, when someone sees them waving a gun around, the person that they're waving a gun at is going to get scared, say, I'm sorry, or run away. Um, what if that person um, runs at you, takes your guns, gun from you, and shoots you and kills you, or beats you to death because they were just th their life was They're just threatened? threatened. I, was, I don't think you've thought this oh, through. Gosh. Also, if you do shoot someone in the Chipotle parking lot or wherever else, they're going to say, "Why didn't you just leave?" Well, he was. I mean, I'm defending her honor. I mean, okay, yeah. I mean, I. I I get I, trying to stand up for. I your was people. disrespected. No. Well, they were driving down my street, and the street was flooded, and I was worried they were going to push water into my house. No. no. Sorry, you're going to jail. Yeah. You are going to jail. Wait. Well, they they threw a Molotov cocktail at my house. Somebody said that. I, Guys, I'm not sure whoo. if you can shoot someone for doing that. Well, they were going to destroy my house, and or, my, it's my castle, castle but, doctrine. Da, 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 da. Then you talk. Call about, the fire department. Gosh. Walk out the back door. Unless they're surrounding your house, then what do you do? Well, there's a lot of what ifs, right? <laughs> what if? But like, but I'm sorry, you gotta, you gotta I look know. at. It. There was no other option. Well, they're gonna I, burn down my house. Well, you you call the insurance company well, and you tell them what happened to their house. Yeah. Well, and then what happens if, and this all goes back on you know police aren't always going to be there. We've gone from iron sights. We've kind of abandoned that issue, apparently. And we're back on this one. Rhonda, I know we did. We're bouncing we're, around. We're bouncing around. Rhonda sorry, Ezel. Guys. Hey, Rhonda, how's it going? Um, she says, bottom line is the antis are going to use all of these situations to call for more gun control. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're, you're going to be a poster child. You start waving your guns, you're going to be a poster child for someone's political advantage. Yeah. Just Absolutely. an FYI. So do us all a favor. Keep them holstered. How do we get? How do we but get there again? We I don't know. Because well, I because I know because I read a comment <laughs> from Ray D. Um, oh, Combat Master says in Utah arson is a forcible felony. It's so, a felony. Yeah. So it's a forcible, fe but I don't I mean, know I the don't definition know, of forcible felony. 
Maybe that means you could, I don't know. You can shoot stop someone the, stop for the setting situation something on fire? Or whatever it is. I'm guessing. So he was um, going to set my, my car on fire, so I killed him. Uh, Paul, Paul Bald 2 says insurance would probably deny the claim. Oh, that, <laughs> step one, insurance is going to deny the claim. Let me tell you, from a guy who uh, lived in New Orleans during Hurricane yeah. Katrina, <laughs> I know more than I want oh, I to know. But Rafe iron says, tight, iron tight. Rafe sa says, Gravest Extreme, great book. Get that book, uh, Gravest Extreme. Luke says, Iron Sights, uh, better to have them and not need them than not have them and need them. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of a Dr. Seuss answer, yeah. but yeah. yeah. But that's, um, but it was 100% true. Uh, and we are, we're actually going to be doing some, uh, some work with HiViz here coming up. And they've got some really, their new Light, light Wave H3 sights mm -hmm. are actually really cool. So do you have favorite iron sights? I mean, it's like red dots are getting all the love. Mm -hmm. But they then are. There's irons, there are iron sights that I, I love and the ones I don't love. And, and KJ uh, decided to throw a grenade into our Instagram account. And uh, what did you say? Oh, no. Night sights. He was dogging on night sights. That night sights are dumb and no one needs them or something like that. So do you like night sights? Do you like fiber optic? Do you like, um, you know, the high vis uh, stuff? We actually have a link in there if you guys are interested yes, in checking those do. out. Um, so, but no, I, I think I said, what was it? It was the, uh, what meme is it? Jace, come on, help me out. Oh, it's the Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder. Prove me wrong. Change my mind. Change my mind. And it says, night sights are a gimmick. Change my mind. <laughs> So like the tritium he's and all just, this stuff like that. He's just poking people. I'm just lighting that little fire right there. <laughs> so are night sights a gimmick? Now, I mean, think about it. If if I'm having a gun, it was the tritium lobby. That is tri yeah. tritium lobbyists. I'm having I'm high. I'm having a light on my gun, and man, a laser would be awesome. But a red dot and a light. <laughs> There you go. So John points out a great point. My old eyes love the red dots. And that's an interesting thing. We had uh, a guy in here in the office this week, um, had a couple of guns with red mm -hmm. dots. He was looking at them. And he's, I don't know, 60 yeah. maybe? And when you become 60, you're wearing bifocals typically. And uh, he, was just, he said on one of the red dots, he could not get a good sight picture. It was just a mangled yeah. weirdness. The other red dot, which also cost four times as much, he had a clear dot. Interesting. Interesting, yes. Uh, Combat Master says a forcible felony means you may use deadly force. Okay, but yeah, James Vincent. Not for a car or garage, even, but dwelling arson is acceptable use of lethal force in Kentucky. The state video... Stated it in the Kentucky CCDW course. I mean, that. I mean, I guess then, that's, then so, that becomes a question of. You better know your state laws. I guess that becomes a question of. Are you okay shooting someone because they're trying to set your house on fire? Gosh. Maybe some people go, heck yeah, I am. <laughs> Man, I don't know. But, but, uh, would, but would you shoot them with your irons or a red dot? <laughs> <laughs> See how I brought that full circle. <laughs> yeah, do you want to bring a record? Right. You want to hit them good? Uh, yep. Oh, I'm turning. I'm turning it around. We're, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about this whether you like it or not. We're gonna. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, so, I'm trying. Um, we we also have some links in the description for Red Dot stuff. If you guys are interested in that, the Vortex Viper, Sig Sauer Romeo One, Sig Sauer Romeo Zero, super small. That's very super light. Super small little optic right there. Um. A lot of options there. Yeah. So, you know, whether you choose to run your irons or not, I think you should always have them on your gun. Yep, I agree. Whatever, whatever you're running. All right, com comments. If you commented, you are entered to win some Manscaped stuff. Olight. Some Olight lights. Two winners. So, uh, yeah, go to manscaped.com, enter code GUNTALK, 20% off, free shipping. And uh, if you don't have the Gun Dealio app, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you yeah. should go down the App Store and download that right now. Gundelio.com. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. 
You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.